Welcome back to Sterling Lancaster Community Update. I'm Emmanuel Ortiz. And I'm Victoria Strait. Since we've been locked up inside, we've been working hard to expand this program to bring some more fun and uplifting news during this tough time. So let's jump right in and get to the announcements. I'll start with the state updates. So you can still register to vote by mail for the November 3rd election. It's recommended that you have your registration submitted by October 20th because applications cannot be accepted after October 28th. You can find the application and deadline details on sec.state.ma.us. And Massachusetts fall hunting season is upon us. The majority of hunting season opens in September or October and runs until December or January. Make sure you and your pets are wearing bright colors while hiking near hunting areas. And if you believe someone is violating hunting laws, please report them. You can report them to the Massachusetts Environmental Police at 800-632-8075. So Emmanuel, what do you got for Lancaster? We have a few things. On October 7th, there will be an immunization clinic held at the Lancaster Community Center on a lower level patio from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Flu shots and pneumonia shots will be available. No need to register. They are also looking for volunteers to help out. If you would like to help or have questions about the clinic, please contact Jeff Pastor at Jeff, L-B-O-H, Pastor, at gmail.com or 508-380-5185. The Bread of Life Food Pantry is open on, on Thursday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. They provide food for individuals, couples, and families. If you're looking to donate, they accept non-perishable non-perishable items and in summer in the summer they will also accept fruits and vegetables from your garden visit the website at villagesdachurch.org are you a lego fan i am join the virtual lego club held by the thayer memorial library discuss lego creations and get tips from fellow builders the group is open to all ages and meets every other monday with their next zoom meeting on september 28th registration is required Visit DayerMemorialLibrary.org for, for registration and more information. And what's up in Sterling? Well, in Sterling, the Sterling Master Plan Committee is asking residents and business owners of Sterling to complete a survey which will help shape the future of Sterling. You can find the link to the survey on the town website, sterling-ma.gov. Uh, help the future of the town by giving your input. And the survey is open until October 4th. The Wachusett Food Pantry has announced their distribution dates for October. Distribution for seniors age 65 and older will be October 16th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. General distribution will be October 17th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And you can get craft kits to go from the Cotton Library. Families can request one kit per child and kits are only available while supplies last. You can request your kit by calling 978-422-422. 6409. And Sterling Scout Troop 189 is holding a bottle and can drive on September 26th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Sterling Municipal Light Department. Stop by 50 Main Street with your bottles and cans to help out your local troop. And now for a new segment I'm excited to announce called On My Bookshelf, where Emmanuel here will give us a spotlight on a book from any genre. Emmanuel, what, what's on your bookshelf today? On my bookshelf this week is R.A. Salvatore's new book, Relentless, which was released this past August. Relentless continues the saga of, Ar of Ari Salvatore's popular fantasy character, Drizzy Doradin, as he not only has to protect the kingdom of Glontogrim from demons, dark elves, and political intrigue, but has to solve the mystery of his long-dead father, who has returned from the dead under mysterious circumstances. Both Drizzy and his father try to redefine their relationship as his father struggles to adapt to the present. If you are a fan of sword and sorcery stories, make sure you pick this up and the two other books in this series, Timeless and Boundless. All three books are now available online and at your local bookstores. So before I started working here at SLCT, you guys had a show called Pod Option, where you would go to the animal shelter in Sterling uh, and you would film the animals that were available to adopt. Uh, do you remember that show? It was a great show. Yeah, it's so cute. So. We can't bring it back fully, um, just because of the world we now live in. So we're bringing back the adoptable animals, though. 
Uh, so on this episode, we're featuring Toad. He is a four-year-old neutered male schnauzer mix. He was left behind by his owners along with many other animals before Georgia Animal Control rescued them. Because of Toad's previous life, and since he wasn't neutered until four years old, he has developed a territorial marking behavior, so he'll need a little extra love and attention from his new family to train him. But Toad is a quiet dog, he loves attention, and will do best in a home with adults. If you're interested in Toad, please go to sterlingshelter.org to fill out an application. To finish off our news program, we're starting a segment called Town Tidbits. Do you know any interesting history or information related to Sterling or Lancaster? We want to hear it. Send us what you know to socnews at gmail.com. For today's episode, we wanted to talk about Hannah F. Gould. Hannah F. Gould was a poet and abolitionist who was born in Lancaster, Massachusetts in 1789. She began writing poetry in her 30s. Her first book, Poems, was published by her friends without her knowledge in 1832. Ten other volumes followed between 1844 and 1870. In addition to children's poetry, she wrote religious, historical, commemorative, and abolitionist poetry, many of which appeared in The Liberator, a Boston abolitionist newspaper. Gould led a quiet life in Newburyport for more than half a century, and she died there on September 5, 1865. We'll leave you with an excerpt from one of her poems, The Fly's Revenge. On the astronomer's pointed glass, he leisurely stood and stretched his wing, for here he knew he was sure to pass, for quite a great and important thing. Now is the time, said he, my man, to measure the fly from head to heel. Number the miles, and if you can, Name the planets that I conceal. What do you call the twinkling star over the spot where you see me tread? And the beautiful cluster of lights afar ranged in the heavens above my head. Ah, it is station that swells this all, at once to a size that were else unknown. And now, if ever I hear you call, my race and order beneath your own, I'll tell the world of this comic scene, and how will they laugh to hear that I small as you think of me can stand between you and your views of the precious sky. And that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next time on Community Updates.